do um, a reveal slash review again for one of my bag and this time we go to Prada and I'll show you the box that it came in with um, it's a really big box and it's a really heavy box too so here's the box um, oof, I don't know it's a really big and heavy box textured box textures like the Safiano leather box so it has this um, oops, Prada logo there in blue kind of I don't know like a ribbon kind of thing they put on the box and um, you open it like this like a shoe box so the inside it has those um paper thing from Prada and I have the the blue paper I don't know if you could see it I'll take the paper filling out first and it has this um, blue paper thing that says Prada also there um, to wrap the bag. And the bag is on the side, um, so you know. Um, I just showing you the uh, box that it came in first. And it has this, like a Prada, I don't know, Prada logo all around um, the lining of the box. I don't know if you guys could see it or not, so I hope you guys could see it. And the dust, it's just like a white um, dust bag like this. And it says Prada right here. Wait, Prada Milano right there. Drawstring dust bag like this. And here's the receipt by Prada. It's like just, um, the color is like similar to the Louis Vuitton envelope but a little bit darker and it has Prada right there and that's the receipt there so it's in color cameo and it's Safiano Lux bag so the price when I bought it was 2100 plus tax and that was on I can't remember when I bought it um, December 10th so December last year 2013 so yeah that's the receipt yeah here's the box it's the Prada Safiano Lux in cameo so it's like a rosy beige color I really love this color I chose this color because I wanted like a casual everyday bag color Actually, I think they have a whole lot other color they have it in black red even crazy color I believe like like bright pink like green also and some other color so yeah I, I, I chose this one and I didn't regret it at all at all I really love this color this style of a bag I think this is the smallest size that they have on this, um, in this style. They have like, um, a size bigger or two size bigger up also. You guys could check the website if they have it on their website. And yeah, I chose the smallest size because again, I'm petite. I'm only 5'1", so I can't really carry big bag or it'll look like crazy on me so I chose this size and it's actually more than enough of a room for me because I don't usually carry a whole lot with me I'm not the type of person that carry all my life with me I just carry my essentials if I even carry my essential usually I only carry my bag my I mean my wallet and my phone probably a lipstick or a lip gloss that's all but with this, I could carry more. I like that about it. Like sometimes I want a bag that I could carry more. Because most bags that I have are like a smaller bag that I cannot carry a whole lot. This one is actually really good for me. And um, it has this two zipper on the side there. And each zipper has the 
Prada Milano stamp on it on both sides. And this one in gold hardware, by the way. I don't know if they have it in a silver hardware or not, but I got this in gold hardware because it looks really good with the um, kind of beige color. Yeah. And I have this pom-pom thing. I can't remember where I got it from. Oh, I got it from a Japanese, like a $1.50 store called Daiso. They have this kind of thing in different colors too. They have it for a cell phone actually, like a cell phone charm, but then I just attach to my keyring pretty much to make it a back charm instead of buying the Fendi one that's a real fur. This is really good because this is not a real fur. It's just like um um faux fur like kind of thing. It's really cute and it's it's not harming any kind of animal for this. So yeah, I like this one. And it makes the bags really cute, doesn't it? And okay, let's go to the bag again. Um, the bag has the Prada Milano hardware in the front right there. In gold hardware. So, right there. And it has the top handle, the two top handle, too. I never use it like this. I mean, yeah, no, I never really carry it like this on my um, arm or hold it like this because I'm the type of girl that likes my hands to be free when I go out. So I like this one because it has the long strap also that I could just do over my shoulder or crossbody. We love this bag because of this strap. If it doesn't have this strap, then I wouldn't buy this. So that's that. And the bag doesn't have any pocket or anything like that. So it's just plain in um, Safiano leather. That's really durable, really, really durable. So that's why I like this for my pretty much everyday bag. This one has four feet on the bottom too, so it's good. I mean, your leather not going to touch any kind of surface that you put on. So on the on each feet, it has the, what is it? The Prada stamp. Two stamp. Two Prada stamp. If you could see it. I hope you guys could see it there. So yeah, let's go to the inside of the bag. Oh. This strap is actually detachable too, so you could just, it's just attached, oh, it, it has these um, snap also on the side, so if you want um, a little bit more room, so you could just unsnap it, and it's going to create a little bit more room for you guys, so, but I never really need, I never really need to unsnap it because I don't really carry a whole lot, like I said. So, and um, this one, the strap is attached to um, a D-ring right here. I don't know if you guys can see it or not. I don't think it has any Prada logo. Oh, it does. It has a Prada logo on the D-ring also, on the side. I don't know. I don't think you guys can see it. So, sorry about that. This one has uh, the D-ring right there. And then the... I don't think you guys could see the Prada logo there on the side of the D-ring there. And yeah, has the two zip pocket on the side of the bag. I really like this. I usually put my wallet in here, my keys, the important things that I will put in my zip pocket. Those two zip pocket right there. Let me open it for you guys. So yeah, there's one here one there it's really handy and then the one big pocket in the middle i usually just put my knickknacks like i don't know like makeup bags or stuff that not that important like my wallet so i'll put it in the middle compartment there and on the middle compartment it has a side pocket too one right here like the one that um on the front side it has like one side pocket and then on the back side it has um, a zipper pocket there also 
so it has quite a lot of compartment i really like this one and the lining inside is like a fabric lining that has prada all over it prada and prada logo all over it so it's really good so it's it's not like a leather i like it that this is fabric lining instead of leather but on the side pocket here it's actually um leather also right there i don't know if you can see it or not so this side pocket is actually leather but the lining is actually fabric i really like it all the lining inside the pocket here are, all, are also fabric like this and it has this lit right here in the front it's actually they said for um for you to put some keys inside oh because this bag comes with um like a key charm i have it right here sorry here's the key charm kind of thing it's a leather tab to actually to hang it right here and then you put there's a key ring right inside the the pocket here and you could put your key and then after that, you could just put the keys inside the slot right there, I guess, but I never use it. I don't really use this because I have my bag charm. And then if, probably if I don't use this bag charm, then I'll use this as my bag charm. But I don't really use this since I got it, so I just put it aside. On the zipper pull, on the inside, it has the um, same zipper pull as the outside, so it has these Prada logo also on both sides so inside has I don't know if I told you guys already or not it has the Prada Milano um logo here also oh I like it because it's really durable because of the leather because the Safiano leather I mean you can't really scratch it I mean you can scratch it if you just I mean put a knife and scratch the back but I mean it's not like a um it's not like a really delicate bag, so I don't really like baby this bag because I use it every day pretty much. So I just put it anywhere that I want. Like, and I know this is like a lighter color, not like black. Like you don't have to worry of the color transfer. But I I haven't seen any color transfer so far. Knock on wood. I think that the bag still looks really good for the color that it is but i seen that the inside of the bag it's just the one side right here it has a really dirty black marks in there but i don't know where i got it from i don't know if, I, if you guys could see it there's a really dirty black marks there I don't know where I got the marks from though, so I don't know if I could clean it or not. I just saw it today, so I haven't even tried to clean it, but I think you could clean it. I mean, I hope I could clean it, but that's all. Oh, yeah, I forgot. It comes in with the authenticity card um, that Prada gives you when you buy it, and it comes in in this envelope it has the kind of like a care card or something like that yeah it says line made of cow skin that has been tanned using natural methods treated to make it hard wearing and printed to produce a dis distinctive similistrous effect to preserve the original quality of this product avoid exposure to extreme heat and damp extreme heat and damp Clean when necessary with a soft, dry cloth and store preferably in the bag provided. I don't really store it in the bag because I want I want to be able to see all of my bags so I could use it pretty much. Like I don't buy a bag and then just put it away like I don't use it. I buy bags because I love it because I want to use it so I use pretty much all my bag regularly. I like to rotate my bags, so I don't really put my bag, I don't really store my bag inside the bag or the dust bags because I want to see it so I could use it more often if I see it. So I just put it on the shelf like this kind of shelf or there's another shelf that has like 
um, kind of like a window kind of shelf thing, um, like a um, glass door thing. And it comes in with these authenticity card from Prada. Um, it's just like a white um, credit card kind of kind of style. The front has Prada Milano Dal, I don't know, D-A-L, 1913. Certificado de Authenticita. Authenticity Certificate Card. Right there. And then the back of it has the um, material, the number, the color, and the date of purchase there. And yeah, so if anything happens in my bag, I could just um, bring the bag and this card, important, this card's really important because the bag doesn't have any like, um, you know, the serial number inside the bag. The Prada bag that I know of, it doesn't have any serial number inside the bag itself. So they only have authentic authenticity card. So if anything happened, you have to bring the authenticity card with you to the store so they could look it up. And um, yeah, that's that. So yeah, I love this bag again for everyday bag. I mean, if, you to type, if you're the type of girl that likes to carry everything with you, so I suggest you get like something bigger than this. Or if you're like taller than my size or bigger than my size because I'm really small, really petite, I carry this and then it's like, it's kind of perfect for me, I guess. Like, it's big, but not too big. So I, I really like this, but if you're like a little bit bigger than me or l taller than me, I think you want to get like a bigger size than this because I know a friend of mine that's um a little bit taller and bigger than me. She got like one size up than this. I in the same color. So yeah, I really love this bag. Again, I love all my bags. So I'll probably gonna put the modeling shot at the end of this video and um, ask me anything that you want regarding this bag or any other thing and I'll get back to you. I'll see you next time on my other video. Bye guys!